what is good with y'all WJ Gang. And I'm back again with another reaction, bro. And as I can see by the title, I'm finna be reacting to child kidnapper who gets caught trying to bait children. Hey, bro, I don't promote none of that child kidnapping stuff, y'all. So, we about to see what this video is about. I don't know why people child kidnap, you feel me? I don't know why they be trying to kidnap people, kids. I intend to try to sell them, you know, try to get some money out of them. But it's other cruel reasons to that, bro. And it so happened that over these couple of years, child kidnapping been getting real, real, real bad, bro. You be seeing like a lot of Amber Alerts of child kidnapping be like, damn, how did y'all get y'all hand on these child? Like, where they parents at? Like, how? Hey, man, I ain't finna say much more. Let me know if y'all been rocking with the reactions. If y'all been rocking with the reactions, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe for more reactions. So I'll keep dropping more reactions for y'all, man. And if y'all do click on the video, make sure y'all watch it to the end, y'all. It's fun to hop straight into this video. This couple just tried to kidnap an innocent child by luring him into their van. And if the police don't capture them, dozens of other kids might fall victim to their... Damn, what is the kid doing outside by itself anyway? What a parent at, bro? Like, ain't no way I'm gonna have my kids. My kids gotta be under surveillance 24-7 of the day, if you feel what I'm saying. Like, if y'all know y'all in the house, okay but we can't be not watching our kids because like i said child kidnapping has gotten worse over the years so nah bro but just 15 minutes later they were surrounded and police had caught them red-handed put your hands up do not Put your hand down. But there are more cases of child kidnappers being caught than you'd hope. Like when this man stole a car with a child in the back seat, or this man who was found with a group of underaged girls that he claimed were his wives. But let's Bruh. No way, bruh. I've actually seen another type of video like that. Cause these kids actually look a little older than the last video I think I seen of child kidnapping. Where the dude had the little girls in the pickup truck. I'm like, bro, them little girls. And you talking about them your friends? Bro, those are little girls, y'all. Yeah. But hey, man, let's keep watching this video. Take a look at these two kidnappers who tried snatching a child right in front of his mother. In November 2023, 911 received a call from a distraught woman who claimed a couple tried to snatch her child from the street in front of her very eyes. The child's father tried to stop them, but the couple... So at this point, these kidnappers don't even care if the parents is there or not. They just care about getting that kid, bro. Hey, make sure y'all kids are in the house and stay safe, bro. Because these people are not playing out here. Fled. Police quickly arrived and immediately began a hunt in an attempt to stop two alleged kidnappers who could strike again at any moment. I will drive you right here. But why, 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 He's coming outside yeah. the van and tried to take the baby of the lady, his mother. And he tried to put the kid inside the van. Wow. Son? Yes, he has another son. And he has his son. So who came out of the van and grabbed, and physically grabbed the kid? No, tried to physically, the girl. The, which, the girl. Okay, that was inside the van. There was a, a male and a female and occupying it. Yes. She pops out of the truck, yes. grabs your kid. Tries to grab my tries kid. Tries to grab your kid. He's saying, he's saying, he's saying, say, listen to me. I want to go to the gas station and I put gas in my car and then I will come back to kill everybody in this house. Wow. Damn. Is it that serious? Like, what? How are you going to go to the gas station and come back and kill everybody? Yeah, call the police. They psychos. <laughs> And then she has a whole witness, so you, you know the police officer believes all this because 9 out of 10, bro, not one person seen it, but two. At least if it was just the lady saying it, you would be like, what lady? Like, what's going on? This and that. But the witness actually seen it. Like, seen it, seen it, yeah. 
You can check the gas station in Tavis yeah. Street. You live, over, you live inside the truck. Believe it or not, incidents like this are terrifyingly common. Over 840,000 children are reported missing every year, with roughly 16,000 of them reported to be victims of human trafficking. The couple is using their kid as bait to try and trick other kids into getting in their van. A disgusting wow. scheme, but one kids will likely fall for. However, criminals use white vans on purpose to blend in, and in less than a minute, they're making their first traffic stop. Show me your hat. Big four. So that was quick. Did they find them or what? Because what if that's the wrong van, though? Imagine getting stopped by police that thought you were somebody else. You just like, damn, like, what did I do? Like, you know, criminal, this and that. You feel me? But, hey, we finna see if that's the actual criminals, y'all, because I've got a feeling that's the actual criminals. Yeah, stay backwards, stay backwards. Okay, come here, boss. Go ahead, just bring him back here for now. Just put him on my car. What happened? Alright, walk back to me. Alright, stop. You can't blame the police for stopping this van, even though it's not the suspects they're looking for. This van is similar to the one the cops are looking for, but it's not as beat up as the victims described. But less than 10 minutes later, they think they've finally caught their suspect. See what I mean, y'all? I was on the money, dog. I was literally saying, what if that's not the right van? Because, bro, you can't just be stopping at random vans. Like, you got the full description of the van, but still, it's still gonna be kinda hard to find vans. You know how many vans there is in the street, bro? A lot of vans. The first people they stopped was not the van they were looking for, so they, I think, found the other van that they looking for. Let's get it. You know, there's, there's a description of a van like yours. I was trying to pick up two little kids. Luckily for the cops, third time was indeed the charm as they initiated traffic stop on a van that's <laughs> Hey man. So they had stopped two people. They stopped two people and that was still not the van. Like, damn. That boy like, bro, why would I, you know, kidnap a kid? And he said his own kid called that the pedal van. <laughs> you know something's up with your own kids calling it the pedal van. It's time to switch it up, man. Get you a ramp truck, son. Get you a truck enough to be the one they're looking for and with a male and female inside who match the description of the would-be kidnappers perfectly no stay there stay in the car get back in the car all right put your hands out the window just keep your hands out the window nope i'm not gonna listen right now drop your phone drop your phone put it down put it down please i will put it down for you drop your phone that's your son? Yeah, that's my son. Step out. Hold on, puppy. Turn towards the van. Turn towards the van. What's up, buddy? You alright? Yeah, I got the dead as well. Keep your hands. What's up, buddy? Hey, buddy. How's your dad look? Can I step out? Yeah. Here, step out. I got you. Nah, that right there is a grown man because. Don't be asking how your day at work because you know exactly what your parents got you doing. I'm not saying you fully aware because you still a kid. But at the end of the day, when we find out his age, bro, he's not safe. Because I ain't going to lie, your parents putting you into like doing that. But at the end of the day, y'all, that kid do not have to do the way he's doing. Especially if he's old enough to know what you're doing. You feel me? You just another pedal, just like your parents who raised you. I ain't gonna lie, I'm keeping it as blunt, y'all, because that's just how I see it, because ain't no way, but I understand you're a kid, and your parents got you doing that, but you that still don't justify that you're not a pedal, you know what I'm saying? 
child with them is their own, but he has been involved in a potential kidnapping. It seems the suspect used their own child to try and entice wow. their victim into the back of their van, and that could land them with a charge for contributing to the delinquency of a minor. It's a first-degree misdemeanor in Florida and comes with a price of one year in jail. But they don't plan to serve a minute of that time as they try to manipulate the cops to get off scot-free. Wow. <laughs> Can you use the phone right now? Why? Because you're, you're being detained. How am I being detained for what? You're being detained because you fit because you fit the description. That doesn't matter. That's against the law, bro. That's against the law. Y'all didn't even read me what my rights. Y'all didn't tell me nothing. What's the first thing. For what? You match the description of what? Crime. Of a crime. Of a crime? Somebody that hit my big mom in front of my son? Black. You guys are stealing you need to my move. son. I'm not stealing your son. So why did you guys put him in that car over there? Your foot. Bruh, shut up, bruh. I ain't gonna lie. They ugly, but they need to sit down. Why they getting so hostile when y'all know what y'all doing? Like, get y'all ass out of here. Y'all being so hostile over what? I feel like y'all know what y'all doing. Not feel like. Y'all know what y'all doing. And now y'all trying to play victim, bro? Like, these officers got all the rights at this point to stop y'all. I ain't gonna lie. All the rights. To answer my question. All right. This, is, this looks nice. You like it? This is how it looks when you're in jail and in the backseat of the cop car. So, Bo, I got to take the parts. Now you want to check? Yeah. You remember my right? Now you want to turn on your camera or check it out? My camera. Uh, the camera's right on. Right. 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 I violated my rights. My camera's in the inside. Uh, Y'all violated my rights, bro. Despite the seriousness of the situation, neither suspect seems to accept they're in trouble and even claim to be the victim in this whole thing. The boy's father hasn't been seen since the incident, and it's believed he's out on the street looking for the suspects himself. But when he returns, he's finally able to paint a clearer picture of what went down. They already had told me a month ago. My no, daughter felt uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. that, that lady was trying to talk to her and shit. Yeah, yeah. But when she drove him off, the lady comes out, starts. Mm -hmm. Dude, don't worry. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get her. I'm gonna get to her. You? No, just out loud. Oh. So I, I'm right here and I'm like, like, what's going on? Are you yeah. all right? And but came what? And she ran up to me. So they already spent the block and tried to get the child, and yelling all that loud that I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Like what? Uh-uh, lock them up for life. They only need to see daylight because you never know what they'll be doing, bro. And if so, they're going to have to be on house arrest with an ankle monitor. And so they could be tracked 24-7. What y'all doing? Where y'all at? Because, bro, kids' lives are at risk because of these cycles. And I you know, my bad, y'all. I'm not going to pause it as much after this. You think I know what it is, though? I think it's because these parents maybe. These women, maybe sometimes, after having one kid, they can't have no more kids. So they think it's cool to just kidnap people's, you know, kids and stuff. But that don't get no kind of like pass. Just because you can't have no kids or whatever the case may be, I don't know. But I'm just having the conclusion or me thinking about what it can be, maybe. Yeah. Or they just like kidnapping people's kids. You feel what I'm saying? She look old and beat up. Like she can't have no more kids. So that's. Her, oh, let me go kidnap somebody else's kid, especially a, a girl at that. You feel me? Back up, back up. And she just kept coming back, kept coming back. To the point that I wanted to hit her, but I didn't. I grabbed, I was grabbed dirt. I was gonna dirt at her. Right. Then she swung at me and then spit at me. And as Fair. a reaction, yeah. And as a reaction, I did. I hit her in the mouth. Your daughter saying that the lady was like, come here, like, come here. That's what I was fearing. Did I remember you told me like a month ago. That she felt like, you know, that she, yeah. was trying to, she was trying to take And then it. he's saying the same thing. It, the stories combined that this, the lady, both of them, were like trying to get your daughter to come to the van. After talking to the father, the cops realized that he only tried to defend himself and his child, mm -hmm. confirming that the kidnapper's claims of being the victim in this situation were completely unjustified. Without the dad's interference, one can only speculate oh, what wow. these two could have done with the kidnapped child. And the unfortunate truth is that this was not an isolated incident. Over 250,000 children are abducted every year in the United States, and 22% of those are taken by strangers with primarily sexual motives. Kidnappings wow. increasing year by year leads to situations where victims have to defend themselves. For exactly. example, on June 22, 2019, at around 10.30, Jolena Anderson has just finished work and is on her way home. That's when a car with two men pulls up beside her and tries to kidnap her. 
luckily, she was able to do something genius. She firstly scares off the attackers, and secondly, alerts people nearby, all at the same time. Yeah. In case it was unclear, the victim used a handheld alarm to successfully scare the attackers off and bring others from around the area to save herself from the kidnapping attempt. Ooh. It's unclear if the attackers were caught, but luckily, Jolina was able to escape the situation yeah. completely unharmed, all thanks to her alarm. And this clip was actually sent to me by the company making these self-defense devices, Lifeguard, who have kindly sponsored this video. If you watch the channel, you know I almost never do sponsorships, but after hearing about Lifeguard, I felt the need to provide you guys with a defense against some of the crimes. Hey, yeah, I don't usually watch ads, but I will let this play for y'all women's out there because, yeah, man, y'all get y'all some of these devices that save y'all from cycles like this because, bruh, that's not cool to be kidnapping people, like, bruh. In my videos, the safe key is an SOS alarm that alerts nearby people and scares off attackers. By pulling the pin, the safe key lets out a 130 decibel alarm sound alerting anyone within half a mile in the direction the safe key is pointed. It's proven to scare off potential attackers, and its ease of use makes it accessible at all moments. Mm -hmm. And because of how useful this product was, I decided to strike a deal with Lifeguard for you guys. The first 500 people that click the link in the description and order an alarm gets 50% off. That's $23 per SOS alarm. So simply click the link in the description, and if you're early, get it for half the price. And of course, thank you Lifeguard for helping protect my viewers and sponsoring this video. But let's get back to Tiana and Michael. As well as the charge of contributing to the delinquency of a minor, the couple were also charged with enticing a child, which comes with a sentence of a year in jail and a $1,000 fine. The cops were able to bring this couple to justice using good old-fashioned police work, but this next kidnapper was caught when technology did all the work and led police to his exact location. Uh. <laughs> In April 2022, yeah. a terrified woman watched as a man stole her car while she was trying to park at a Goodwill. The real horror, though, was that she had her nine-year-old son in the back seat, and the suspect has fled the scene. This is one of those occasions where it shows it's smart for children to use cell phones as her son has in the car, and she was able to use the Find My iPhone tracker to locate him. But still, police are going to have to work fast, so they can start an immediate search of the area, including aerial support. They're driving the car to South Gordon and hold on. It's right there. I'm gonna go look. Yeah. Well, they looking, looking, boy. They got helicopters in the sky. It's not like you know, police on duty just in every corner so they looking looking for that child it isn't long before the vehicle is spotted and now the race is on to find the missing boy and bring him back home safely go 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 wow bro imagine you trying to park out a stove and a kidnapper put you through all this and put your son life at risk because bro look how he's just beating with the kid in the back of the seat you don't just do that, bro. What if you injure the kid and, you know, now the mom has to live with you and what you did to her son, you know what I'm saying? And it's like people don't think before they do stupid stuff, but, hey, bro, this the life we live in, bro. People's northbound towards Oak Street. GSP is behind him. Oh, my God. 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 Another patrol vehicle manages to perform a precision immobilization technique, or pit maneuver, where the fleeing vehicle is nudged by a pursuing cop car and made to do a 180 in the middle of the road, bringing the pursuit to an end. It works perfectly here, and in seconds, the cops are swarming around wow, the stolen vehicle with the suspect and his victim still inside. You clown. You clown ass. He sound what's the name too? You try to kill us. You try to kill us. You the one that took the damn lady car and took off with her son. 
You down a psycho? Like, bro, listen to this psycho at. Let me not even get to it. Listen to this dude, bro. <laughs> Imagine you try to play a myth of so bad after you get caught of a stupid petty crime, bruh. It's more than a crime, a stupid petty crime, I ain't gonna lie. You had levels, bruh, that's like a level four is crime. Because you have a child in the back of the car, you spitting off, and then you kidnap them. Like, yeah, they trying to play our victim when the police get to you. You trying to kill us. No, 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 don't drive me, you know? You getting your ass dried, and I hope they drag you and you eat dirt. Make sure he eat dirt. <laughs> Look at his goofy ass. Do you know you a whole criminal right now? They not finna. Bro, they will. I ain't gonna lie, they will kill you if they had to. I ain't gonna lie, cause you a whole criminal right now. Like. As always, the main concern is the child, who in this case was brave enough to climb out the back of the window while the suspect was being arrested. Oh, he's a little bit older. That's probably why Cole was trying to speak to him, talking about each other killers. Let's say a four-year-old in the back or like a six-year-old in the back. Even a six-year-old is big enough to know what's going on. So that's why he's talking to him like as if like he was a big kid. At first, I thought it was just like a, a little child child, you know? But it's more so like a big child. The driver, Darius White, was charged with kidnapping, cruelty to children, and theft. He was out on a $20,000 bond last we heard, but with charges like those, he could be expecting a lengthy spell behind bars. But this two-year-old boy was thrown into even more of a nightmare and was saved in one of the most dramatic police rescues we've ever seen. Akron Police! Come out! Hey! Akron Police! In March 2024, a man wow. parked up outside a store in Akron, that Ohio, and left too. the engine running while he quickly popped inside for groceries. But that's when 54-year-old Larry Spence jumped in his vehicle. Wow. And while he quickly popped in... Or a man parked up outside a store in Akron, Ohio, and left the engine running while he quickly popped inside for groceries. But that's when 54-year-old Larry Spence jumped in his vehicle and drove it away. In the back seat was the man's two-year-old son, and police needed wow. to find the vehicle and bring the boy home safely. See, this hey, one is a little home. bit more crazy because it's just a two-year-old boy. Why would you leave a two-year-old boy in the back of the car, bro? Dads don't be thinking, bro. Yeah, y'all, why would you do that? Like, it's so messed up, man. Don't leave your two-year-old son in the back of the police car. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, you never know who's lurking, like, no cap. Alright. Listen, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Here's the deal. That guy just kid. kidnapped his daughter. Okay, the daughter's in the car, so it's kind of a big deal. That's why everybody's here. Oh, my God. So, I put it on my kid's life. Nobody walked. Where'd he go, though? I haven't been that way. I wasn't paying attention. I was talking to my grandma. Let's get the A. Let's get perimeter on the top. Police tracked Spence's vehicle to this local bar using the Flock camera system, which uses license plate recognition technology to help locate wanted vehicles. The Flock camera system was installed in 2022 and has helped assist in various crimes ever since, becoming an ever useful tool in the fight against crime. Agri police, come out. Hey, Agri police. Come out. Hey, hey, hey. Anyone inside? Come out now! Get your hands up! Hands up now! Alright, we got a male coming out to the right. Oh, bro. 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 Any white males in there? No. 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 No.
Michael was found on East Street and Florida Avenue, and the boy was still strapped in his car seat, unaware of the danger he was in. That's okay. Wow. Imagine the little kid growing up one day and just having to hear about the story where like, he got kidnapped and left in the alley, bro. Sheesh. So he just abandoned the whole car? It's okay, buddy. I know it. It's okay. You're alright. You like check this out. You like flashlights? No. It's okay. Wow, the boy crying. No. Aww. Why would the criminal do that, bro? Like, hey man, I hope that boy got locked up behind bars, cause you can't be doing that to a two-year-old child, bro. Got the little baby crying. It seems like the excitement has finally gotten the better of the young child, but this cop tries his best to make him feel safe until his parents can arrive and try to distract him from the man who's just kidnapped him as he's being placed into the back of a patrol car ready to await his fate. Alright, you're a brave boy. You're a super brave boy. We're gonna get you home to your daddy. Think this is gonna work? You're the father here. I us wrap it around. Yeah, we could just. Yeah, you know, could, I don't want you to get cold. I just uncle part time and every now and then babysit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, come see, boss. <laughs> Spence was charged with grand theft auto of a motor vehicle and is still waiting to go to trial as of this May This man it doesn't matter. Like, side eyes, uh, like, what you mean doesn't matter, bruh? Or, but he could be facing a long time behind bars as a kidnapping charge alone can come with a 10-year sentence to wow. life. But none of these cases have been quite as horrifying as this next one when a driver was pulled over hiding not just a truckload of underage girls, but what could only be described as a polygamist cult. There's a hand! There's a hand! Let's get that other door open. There's a hand sticking out of the top of the trailer! Motorists in Flagstaff, Arizona became concerned after witnessing something wrong with a pickup truck driving through town. There appeared to be fingers poking out of the trailer the pickup was towing. When caught up with the vehicle, they found self-proclaimed prophet Samuel Bateman behind the wheel, and he had several young girls with him, raising a lot of eyebrows. Even though some of these girls were minors, it's suspected that they are among his 20 wives. Bateman had several young girls with him in the pickup, and police suspect there's even more in the back of his trailer. But police aren't prepared for what they find when they open the door. This is the they police! Fun. We're gonna be opening the door! I want your hand! Hug your head! If you do not, you will suffer the consequences! What's Keep behind the curtain? And why they not coming Don't up? Walk out towards me, okay? Try not to slip, all right? Yeah, what y'all think is behind this, bro? Because why they not coming up? If they little girls, they should be coming up, right? Unless they like little babies. But sheesh. 
Inside, there were makeshift beds and three girls aged between 11 and 14. Bateman ran his own church and was rumored to have a wow. nasty temper that he inflicted on anyone who didn't do as he asked. He was able to manipulate his followers, even building intimate relationships with minors. This could explain why these girls simply refuse to cooperate with police, even if they want to. How old are you? 14. 14. How old are you? 11. How old are you? 12. You? How old are you? How old are you? You don't have to say, or you just fall in there. Okay. Does everyone have water? Anyone like needing uh, water or anything? You guys Okay, we'll do that as soon as our investigation is done here, okay? Why children are being transported in a vehicle, we're getting calls about uh, hands sticking out of a vehicle, out of the trailer. Uh, so that is why we're contacting you guys. And they meet with similar resistance from Bateman himself, who seems unusually uncomfortable having to give police any information at all. How many other people are in the truck? Well, I just want to know who's inside the truck right now, so that way I know who else we're dealing with here. Or else I'm going to call everybody out. As you can see, it's a pretty serious deal here, sir. What's your name? Samuel. Samuel what? What's your name? I'm asking for your name. Hey, sir. Yes, sir. Is he the driver? Yeah. Okay, you have to identify yourself. You understand that, right? Samuel, I, I just got here. Explain to me what's going on. Calm down. I'm calm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're being videoed as well. Okay. His alleged wives seem more concerned for Bateman than the fact he's placed some of them in danger by driving them around in the back of his trailer. It seems no matter what these cops try, only one of the girls is willing to speak, and even she remains defiant. Right now we're just investigating. We're just investigating. Okay, you're not being charged with anything at the moment. Bro, these are young girls. What did he do to manipulate her like that to have her not say nothing? Like, you feel me? Oh, all of them not even saying nothing, but we're going to see how this video goes, because, bruh, what? Because if we are uh, conducting an investigation, what does that mean? I At this point, he's detained right now. I don't know. Okay, I understand that, but like he said, once we do our investigation, we can figure this out. But we just need you guys to give us your names and stuff. No, ma'am. No. You're not going to decide the outcome of this. We will decide and we'll let you know how everything's going to happen here, okay? So do me a favor. When I talk to you, I'll talk to you. When I talk to someone else, don't answer for them. They are afraid of me. Oh, I, they have no reason to be afraid of me. The only reason I had to keep addressing you is because you keep stepping in and I need to be able to talk to you and everyone. We are just trying to figure this out right now, what is going on, okay? It is not normal practice for people to be transported in a trailer. A follower of Bateman later revealed how he was taken advantage of by using his deep-seated Mormon faith against him. He was so devoted that he allowed scheming Bateman to marry several of his wives and even helped fund his lavish lifestyle. Samuel Bateman, what's your date of birth? What's wrong? What is your date of birth, sir? Right, so put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Let's not do this right now, huh? You are being detained until you identify yourself. Do I have to tell Yes, you have to identify yourself. You are being detained for a crime. We're still putting you in handcuffs, so just sit tight. We're just going to identify you, figure out what's going on, we'll go from there. The reason I'm detaining you is because you failed to identify yourself when I asked. Okay? I did. I said Samuel Bateman. Yeah, what about date of birth? That would have worked too. Oh, sir, have you been back so I can lock this in? It's going to hurt me. Well, I need to have a cooperate here. Well, I'm looking at after discussing that with the sergeant. So, I'm all just saying, I'm not going to say anything. Okay.
Bateman was arrested and released on bond. But this would only be the start of his legal worries, as he was arrested again a month later after police discovered he'd told his wives to delete messages and incriminating evidence from their phones. Altogether, he racked up 51 felony charges that include wow. the most disgusting crimes against children. Bateman is being held without bail in a private prison in Arizona and still awaiting trial. Man, that's it for the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. That boy still away in bail, like in an unknown prison, bro. That's how you know the crime was serious, bro. That's how you know it was serious. But yeah, man, y'all let me know what y'all think of the reaction, man. If y'all enjoyed the reaction, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe for more reactions. Let me know what y'all think. And don't forget to drop recommendation down below of reactions I want to see me do. You feel what I'm saying? On the road to 2K subscribers, bro. We almost there, man. Y'all keep smashing that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe, man. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next reaction. Peace.